Hi, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Barry Nutter. I'm in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm a chiropractor and I practice the Rolf method of structural integration and biological medicine. I'm going to share with you today a few case studies, one of pancreatic cancer, the other one of HIV, a full-blown AIDS case that was made better by the use of the beam ray. The beam ray is a Rife technology that uses uh, far infrared light carrier waves to produce a frequency into the body that penetrates into the body and causes a healing of the tissue fluids. This first case I'm going to share with you is from a woman named Corrine, her last initial P. Her weight was 126 pounds and she's 5'1". Her diagnosis is pancreatic adenocarcinoma cancer. This was diagnosed in December 2004. She had no conventional treatment like chemotherapy or radiation, no surgery. She was on some uh, prescription medicines, but she started using the beam ray twice daily, one and a half hours each time to use it, five days a week and once a day on Saturday. Corrine uh, made some drastic diet changes. Food has never been a healthy part of her lifestyle. Previous to the work with the beam ray, Corrine ate breakfast cereal, coffee, conventional milk, white bread, luncheon meat, cookies, crackers, chips, ice cream, candy, and alcohol. She has given all of this up. Now she eats a vegetarian type diet with deep ocean fish, whole grain breads, and pasta, lots of vegetables, fresh organic fruit, juices, raw vegetable salads with flaxseed oil dressing, oatmeal, potatoes, berries, eggs, and smoothies with protein goat whey powder. For supplements, she takes pancreatic enzymes as a primary supplement, homeopathic drainage remedies, probiotics, trisalts, pancreatotropin by standard process, cod liver and flaxseed oil, betaine hydrochloride, liquid fulvic minerals, and liquid multivitamins. She has a coffee enema or a colonic two to three times daily. And she has been taking uh, infrared saunas a day, a daily. Her current, health, her current health status. She was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer on November 9, 2004. She chose not to do chemotherapy and her tumor, tumor was determined inoperable. She chose the beam ray and enzyme program and has enjoyed a full and active life for a year. She walks two miles daily, continues to remain involved in her church, and has four grown children who actively participate in her healing program. Corrine is a wonderful testimony for what can be accomplished when a complete healing program is implemented immediately without chemotherapy involvement. She continues to feel well and has not deviated from her beam ray program since first implementing it in February of 2005. Now I'm going to share with you another case study of a fellow that I actually personally met. Uh, his name is Jerry and last name initial K. His story is in the book Resonance written by Dr. Alex Duarte. We had a, a three-year study done in the West Hope Memorial Hospital in Nebraska where we had patients come in only for pain. Many of the patients who came in for pain had other disorders or diseases, but we were looking to help them with their pain. This fellow here named Jerry Kay also had pain, and I'm just gonna read you a little bit of his lab report. Uh, I didn't see him until after his healing, and he looked like a miniature Arnold Schwarzenegger was built up from using weights and working out at the gym. But before he uh, was healed, before he used the beam ray, he had lost 50 pounds. He could hardly make it up a flight of stairs. And he had scabs and sores all over his body from uh, herpes and the, the uh, complications of Kaposi sarcoma on the skin from AIDS. In Jerry's uh, report that's shown here in the book, his blood report showed with it, before he started the beam ray treatment, his CD4 count, which is your killer cell count, 
shows how much ability your killer cells have to fight off a virus or a condition. His killer cell count was 11. And his HIV-1 RNA count was 750,000, 300 or, or a quarter, or three, three quarters of a million. This is a blood count. In four months of using the beam ray, his killer cell count went from 11 to 89, which is miraculous. His HIV RNA count went from 750,000 to less than 50. When any count is less than 50, that means the HIV virus cannot be detected anymore. So he was rendered a complete cure, and even today he remains HIV free. This is an example of how the beam ray uses frequency to penetrate those frequencies into tissue fluids and cause a change or a condition that will not allow the uh, virus, bacteria, or the fungus that's causing the problem, that will not allow it to proliferate, so it eventually disappears. This is the end of this kind of disease process. We're thankful to Royal, Royal Raymond Rife for all of his work and research in creating the beam ray technology. Thank you.